<laughs> Hi guys, my name is Ralia. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be reading Little People Big Dreams. And the book is Albert Einstein. Written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vegada. Illustrated by Jean Claude. Once upon a time, there was a little Jewish boy born in Germany who took four years to say his first word. His name was Albert, and for some time, his little sister Maya was his only friend. No one else had enough patience to wait for him to talk. Albert was five when his father gave him a pocket compass, which instantly became his favorite toy. There was something magical in that magnetic needle. It always pointed north. He wanted to learn how it worked. School was a bit of a nightmare for Albert, but back at home, he loved diving in a pile of physics and math books, trying to prove theories of his own. By the time he was a teenager, he published his first scientific paper. After studying math and physics in Switzerland, Albert got a job at the patent office. In this place, amazing new inventions were recorded, but none were as groundbreaking as the idea he was working on at home. Albert was a bit disorganized, but inside that brain, his thoughts were in a perfect order. He came up with a formula that said that anything we can see and touch can be turned into energy. It became the most famous formula in the world. His curiosity led him to explore space and time by mixing two original ideas, and he turned physics upside down with his theory of relativity. When he was proven right on an experiment, every college in the world wanted to meet this scruffy physics. Albert was awarded a Nobel Prize for discovering photons, the tiny particles that light is made of. Still, he didn't attend the ceremony. He was busy traveling from place to place, sharing his knowledge with other scientists and thinkers. Every country in the world received Albert with honor, but back home, a very different welcome awaited him. The Nazis had taken control of Germany. They planned to get rid of anyone who was not like them, especially Jewish people. It was not just Albert who was in danger, but also many of his colleagues. Before moving to America with his family, he convinced governments and universities to hire Jewish scientists. Thanks to him, they could leave Germany too. When the war broke out in Europe, Albert feared that the Nazis could use his discoveries to create the most terrible weapon in the world, a nuclear bomb. He sent a letter warning the President of the United States. He always regretted signing that letter. It led to the United States making their own nuclear bomb. Albert had always stood for peace and thought science should only be used to do good. That's why he refused to be involved in the creation of such a weapon. He became an American citizen and loved his new home. Still, he felt terrible about how the country treated his black fellow citizens. Whenever he could, he wrote against racism and used his fame to speak out about it. And by always questioning everything, little Albert became one of the most original minds of the 20th century, a genius who was proved to the world that curiosity and imagination are more important than knowledge. Albert Einstein, born 1879, died 1955. Albert Einstein arrived to Parents Herman and Pauline on March 14, 1879, in Ulm, Germany, older brother to Maya. Albert grew up 
in a non-religious Jewish family. His father, Herman, was a salesman engineer, and his mother, Pauline, ran the family household as a young child. He had what considered to be speech difficulties and turned to classical music, learning to play the violin at an early age at his school, struggling with the school rigid style. Soon, his family moved to Italy and Albert continued his education at Aru, Switzerland. In 1896, he entered the Swiss Federal Polytechnique School in Switzerland, in Zuri, to be trained as a teacher in physics and mathematics. Unable to find a teaching post on graduating, he instead went to work at the patent office. In his spare time, he read and he wrote, and in 1905, Einstein's Miracle Year, he penned a series of papers that changed our view of the universe forever in the theory of relativity and beyond. Albert always appeared to have a clear view of the problems of physics and was determined to solve them. In 1921, he won a Nobel Prize in physics and his work laid the foundation of research into the evolution of the universe. As the Nazi party rose to the power in Germany, Albert migrated to America in 1933, he never returned to his home country. There he used his platform to advocate for social justice, especially for black Americans. Today he continues to inspire generations for th great thinkers across the world as one of the greatest physics in the history of humankind. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and bye.